Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how can you create watercolor effect in Photoshop. I show you all the adjustment and also the step to create this effect perfectly. I show you all the method step by step, so that everyone can create this watercolor effect. If you are a beginner, you can also create this watercolor effect. Carefully watch the tutorial until the end. And don't forget to tell me your valuable word in the comment section below. Leave a like, and subscribe if you didn't yet. So let's start today's tutorial. Now we are here in the magical world of Photoshop. I have downloaded an image, a paper effect image, and also brush for today's project. If you like to use all the images and brushes for practice, just check the link in the description. I will put the link to download. First, press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a duplicate layer. Press the right button on your mouse and convert it to a smart object. Because we need to make some adjustment to all the effect in later. Now go to filter. And filter gallery. Take dry brush. Take brush details 9. And brush size 3. You can choose as you like for your image. Now hit OK. Go to filter again, take filter gallery. Select cutout effect. Adjust the slider to fit the effect. And look what perfect for your image. This is perfect for this image. Now hit OK. Now we need to blend this effect to the main image. To blend this particular effect layer go to layer panel. You can see filters down to the smart filters. Now if you double click to the filter you can adjust the filter again. But to blend this effect, go the right and you can see the slider icon. Double click to the icon. It will come up with the blending option. Change the blending mood into pin light. Hit OK. Go to filter. Blur, take smart blur. Adjust the threshold, and also the radius. Look what's perfect for your image. I would like to take radius 7 and threshold 4.5. Hit OK. Double click to the blending option icon. Change the blending mood into the screen. Decrease the opacity around 30 to 40%. Hit OK. Go to Filter, Stylize, and take Find Edges. Double click to the Blending Option icon. Change the Blending Mood into Multiply. Decrease the Opacity around 50%. Hit OK. Now we are going to create the watercolor effect. Go to the second document. Unlock the layer. Take the paper texture image and paste it here. Put it to the corner. And press Ctrl or Command plus T. Make the image bigger. Press Alt or Option on your keyboard and copy it to the side. Select the first layer, press the right button on your mouse, and select Merge Down. 
Now change the blending mood into multiply. Invisible the background image. Select the second layer. We are going to apply a negative mask to the image. Press out or option on your keyboard, and apply layer mask. Now go to toolbar, and take brush tool. Press right button on your mouse, now we don't have the brush. We need to import the brush. Go to setting. It will come up with some option. Select the import brushes. Now find where is the watercolor brush. In my case, I have the brush in desktop. Open the folder, select the brush, and hit to the load. Now we have the brush. Select a brush. Adjust the brush and apply. Make sure the foreground color is white. And apply watercolor. Change the brush one after one and create the watercolor effect. Take your time and create it. Now we create the watercolor effect. Next, we need to make some color adjustment. Go to the adjustment layer, and take vibrance. Increase the vibrance and decrease saturation. Adjust properly. Next, select the first layer. Go to the adjustment layer again and take carve adjustment. Increase the highlight and decrease the mid-tone to create some contrast. Next, we need to crop the image. You can leave it here if you like. But I would like to crop this image. Go to the toolbar, take crop tool. Select 16 to 9 preset. It's a perfect size for our thumbnail. And crop the image. You can choose as you like. Hit OK. Now we are done. Let's see our final output. Now we just create the watercolor effect. I just show you all the method to create this watercolor effect. Follow my step to create this awesome watercolor effect in Photoshop. I will put the link to download brush and also all the images. I hope that you like this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out my other tutorials. I hope that you will like. And thank you so much for watching until the end. And tell me about my tutorials in the comments below. Leave a like. And subscribe if you didn't yet. See you in my next tutorial. Till then, bye. And the most important thing. Keep learning.